All righty, the long awaited construction update that I've been holding on to until I gathered some information and got you guys some concrete information about what's going on. Um, so as you can see here, front gate has progressed quite slowly now, or what I like to call on my construction updates visually quite slowly. So regardless of it looking like uh, a lot being done or not, a lot is still occurring. So it's quite impressive how quickly this project has moved forward. Um, but in today's update, you're going to be able to see from a new drone flying spot from this little pond and uh, track and field um, spot over across the street. I was able to grab a shot of the almost like the exit out of the gift shot. So over here at front gate, not much is going on. I do want to comment on the fact that the tills or the registers where we scan our season passes are all still located in the front gate area. So that is a bad sign um, in terms of a full front gate reno. I just can't see why Wonderland wouldn't have removed those already if they're gonna do any changes to that area. So I do find that a little concerning, but as you can see here, um, here is the front gate entrance area. This is where you'll queue into those super fast scanners that allow more guests to get through um, that will then head over to the Canada's Wonderland logo and be scanned in. Um, the exit out of the gift store is right there. Um, and yeah, they're still taking apart that ice rink at front gate, but, um, not much else to report on front gate. Again, this is going to look like a visually slow project. Let's get on over to world expo. So when I flew today, or sorry, this is not today. This is a couple days ago. Um, I caught a bunch of contractors. Um, these contractors were checking out the roofs of all the buildings. Um, they were measuring kind of like decal on the building. So that's what threw me off even more. Cause I was like, okay, they're probably just doing roof work, but they were doing, uh, measuring the roofs, the glass, um, components on top of the buildings. And then over at coasters, the restaurant, they were measuring the outer perimeter of the building, including the overhang section. So that was what was interesting. That's usually like decal oriented. Um, so from what I understand about what I saw this day is that it's kind of related to what we saw last spring. So last spring, we saw a lot of work take place in Medieval Fair um, and the front gate area. So World Expo is probably just due for that kind of a refresh. So we're going to see a lot of painting, maybe some new trim, um, some new furniture, like in the um, Backlot Cafe restaurant. We're seeing that kind of work. So that's kind of exciting. Um, a soft reno is never something that you don't want to see at your home park. But yeah, it looks like World Expo as a whole could be seeing some sort of soft reno taking place. So these are contractors. They don't work for Wonderland. Uh, well, they work for Wonderland, but they're not Wonderland employees, um, and they're not construction crew. They're tradespeople. They're contractors. They do, like, these small little side projects. Um, but, yeah, you're going to see a lot of that taking place over World Expo over the next couple of months leading up to Wonderland's opening in spring. So that's really exciting. So right now, um, in terms of where I've seen them working, I've seen them working on the uh, games in the area, Backlot Cafe, Coaster's Diner, and this old arcade building. So that's all I've seen so far, but that's a, that's almost every building in World Expo. Nothing in Action Zone yet, so no painting confirmed for Behemoth. Again, um, depending on how um, big this soft reno of front gate is, uh, I could totally see them choosing to paint Leviathan over Behemoth. I know that upsets people, but I just have this like sneaky suspicion that Behemoth has been postponed. Hopefully not. Hopefully I'm wrong, fingers crossed, but I just have a sneaky suspicion. Um, in terms of the 2025 coaster, no visual signs that I can see of yet, but again, I've been told that there is work going on inside the mountain, and I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed that that is taking place. I have worked really hard to secure the ability to obtain some information, so very shortly over the next couple of days, I should be able to confirm something for you guys about our 2025 project, so stay tuned for that. Um, again, I've legally <laughs> obtained um, the ability to secure some information. So we'll see what I find out with that. My person should be going out in the next couple days to look at that. Um, and then what else? Moosehorn Falls has completely stopped progression. As of this drone update, there was no work on Moosehorn Falls. And there was also no work on Mindbuster. So that is both a good sign and also could mean nothing sign. Um, so they could be waiting for supplies. They could be waiting for wood. They could be waiting for um, 
Titan track. They could be waiting for anything. Who knows? Um, but they're waiting. It looks like they're waiting for something to arrive. So we'll keep an eye on that. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. I think that's all I have for an update. Well, no, that's not all I have. Leviathan's first train is back on the track. So that's really exciting. Backlot trains, backlot stunt coaster trains are all ready to go back on the track as well. Again, Wonderland Maintenance is really ahead of schedule. Um, so that's really impressive. I don't know if Wonderland's done more hiring or all these maintenance workers are just in beast mode. Um, they, it's just, it looks like everything's going to be ready even before training starts um, in March. So super excited about that. We'll keep an eye on that. And yeah, that, that's the Front Game Merch store. I can't, I don't think if I missed anything. I'm going to have to think. Have I missed anything? Comment down in the comment section if you have any questions. Maybe I've missed something and you guys can ask me a question and I'll answer it. But yeah, thanks so much for watching today's construction update. Sorry for the pause information. I just wanted to make sure that I didn't jump to some wild um, conclusion. And I wanted to get the proper information about what these people were doing uh, with all their measurements and uh, work in World Expo. So yeah, stay tuned. We'll be watching. Again, this is really early. So like I said, Wonderland... Um, from what I've heard, is planning on doing a lot of those upgrades that we saw last spring again this year. So we should see it in places like World Expo and other parts of the park. Thanks so much, guys. Hopefully you had an amazing weekend and see you on this Friday's podcast. Bye.